Hello guys, uh, good morning to all. Welcome back to our channel, Mr. Typhoon. And uh, this is now the uh, very latest on uh, Egai, which has been upgraded into a Super Typhoon early this morning based on the one minute uh, sustained wind average of the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. And this update is for today, Tuesday, July 25, 2023. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000, in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. So let's uh, discuss now this typhoon, which, like I said, uh, already a super typhoon around 2 a.m. this morning, and it's already at 10 o'clock in the morning. Here's the latest advisory number four that we issued via our uh, Typhoon 2000 that even for uh, advisory page. And uh, like I said, uh, it's a super typhoon. It's the second super typhoon for 2023. And uh, it is now approaching the coastal waters of Cagayan. And it's likely to uh, traverse the Balintang Channel uh, early tomorrow morning. And uh, based uh, on the wind speed of 240 kilometers per hour, that's the sustained winds of being a super typhoon. While the 10 minute average, which is being used by Pagasa, is likely around 185 kph. So anytime, maybe today, Pagasa will also upgrade it into super typhoon since their wind speed uh, as of the last uh, update or warning or bulletin of Pagasa, it's at 175 kph. So it has a gustiness of up to 295 and moving northwest at 13 kph towards northern Cagayan, Babuyan, Batanes area. So as of 5 a.m. this morning, it was estimated uh, 270 kilometers east of Palana and Isabela and 320 kilometers east southeast of Santa Ana, Cagayan, while uh, over at Metro Manila, the distance away from the metropolis is around 500 10 kilometers to the northeast. And uh, here's the uh, possible uh, heavy to extreme rainfall that could occur in the northern portions of Luzon, beginning in uh, Cagayan Valley, beginning today until Wednesday or Thursday, they will uh, be expecting 50 to more than 100 millimeters of rainfall because of the combined effects of the rain bands of this uh, super typhoon and the uh, southwest monsoon as the typhoon begins to move away from extreme northern Luzon. That's why it has been extended until Thursday. And in other parts of uh, northern Philippines like northern Luzon, including Batanes and Babuyan Island Group, beginning tonight until uh, Wednesday or Thursday, when it comes to the damaging winds, yeah, we expect uh, areas of Cagayan and Babuyan Batanes Island Group will be uh, experiencing gustiness of more than 100 kilometers per hour. And uh, it is likely to begin uh, later this afternoon or evening and it will be during the next uh, 12 hours overnight. And here is the, uh, I'm going to show to you the effects of the winds of the uh, Super Typhoon. This is from the RAMMB website and uh, this is in nuts so this is the uh, uh, 120 kph typhoon force wind so if you are within 100 kilometers of wages from the eye you will be experiencing more than 120 and up to that 200 kilometers per hour sustained winds now here's the uh, uh, area of the i mean the wind field area of the Xori or toxori or egai and here's the uh, island of Luzon. So uh, uh, 45 or 35 kilometers per hour up to uh, 60 kilometers per hour winds will now be expected this morning across Cagayan Valley. And then later tonight, tropical storm force winds until the uh, winds of the, uh, 95 to 100 uh, uh, plus kilometers per hour will be expected along Cagayan Valley. So these uh, areas... Uh, here from Ilocos region down to uh, Isabela up to here over the Batanes uh, Island group will be expecting uh, typhoon force winds of more than 100 kilometers per hour uh, gustiness okay so 130 or more particularly these areas of uh, the Babuyan Island and uh, northern Cagayan so this will be experiencing 
uh, very powerful winds as the typhoon is expected to approach that area. Now, here's the wind signal. That's why Pagasa has issued uh, wind signals all across the uh, archi all across northern Philippines. And uh, let's take a look now. Signal number uh, three is now up over uh, the areas of uh, uh, Babuyan Islands and uh, northern portions of Cagayan, northern northern portions of Cagayan, and uh, also northern Apayao and the northeastern portions of Isabela, that's signal number 3, which means winds of uh, 120 up to, or 118 up to uh, 175 kph will be expected. And uh, here over Batanes and uh, other parts of northern Luzon will be, un is under signal number 2, okay? While the rest of uh, the southern portions of northern Luzon, the rest of central Luzon, Calabarzon, Bicol region, including Pulilio, Brias, and Cow Islands, Marinduque, is under signal number one, which means winds of uh, up to 63 kilometers per hour will be expected. That's the gustiness, okay? And um, uh, to uh, summarize uh, over all the effects of this storm, the strong winds brought about by this uh, system will be concentrated along northern Luzon. So later today, uh, the extreme uh, northern portions from Batanes down to Cagayan or Cagayan Valley, there will be some upgraded of the storm signals to number 4 or uh, up to number 5. It depends if Pagasa upgrades it into a super typhoon if because some signal number 5 is reserved for super typhoon strength. Okay, let's move now to the uh, forecast storm surge from Pagasa's website. This is their uh, storm surge warning number 6 based on their track and uh, the northern and eastern coastal areas of Cagayan and eastern uh, Isabela will have a uh, storm surge height of more than 3 meters while uh, the rest of uh, northwestern Cagayan including uh, Ilocos uh, uh, provinces the coastal waters of Ilocos provinces will have storm surge of up to 3 meters okay while here over the areas of uh, Babuyan Island Group, they will be experiencing more than 3 meters of uh, storm surge height, while Batanes will be only up to 3 meters, so 1 to 3 meters, something like that. And also here, again, over uh, Ilocos uh, coastal waters of uh, Ilocos, including northwestern Cagayan. So that's the uh, latest from Pagasa. And if we take a look now with the uh, fast animation, so there you go, the clear eye of the storm. Usually, if you have a very clear eye, uh, tropical cyclones are at category 4 or 5 or a super typhoon. And uh, it's uh, enhancing now the southwest monsoon across western Visayas and uh, Mimoropa. And some of these clouds are also penetrating Bicol region. That's why here in Naga City, we are experiencing every other hour of a passing light to moderate to at times heavy or extreme rainfall for a few minutes and then it's gone and uh, so this is the overall uh, satellite photo of this monster storm which is around 1055 kilometers in diameter when it comes to the rain the wind is also very close to that 1060 kilometers in diameter the winds of 55 kilometers per hour or more now here outside of power, we are monitoring another low pressure system. This is 91W, which is not yet uh, an active one, but we are slowly or uh, focusing our attention here. Once the system moves out of power, but uh, it looks like it will move up uh, without any uh, landfall across the Philippine Islands, but we will uh, keep you updated on that one in the coming days. Now here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from weathernerds.org, the infrared one. Then you can clearly see here the uh, rain bands, the uh, scattered rain bands of uh, the storm or the, ty or the super typhoon is now uh, covering northern Luzon and it will uh, deteriorate throughout the night to tomorrow morning as the system is expected to traverse uh, Babuyan Islands or via the Valentang Channel and then it will um, move out of the Philippine areas of responsibility on Thursday. So this will be uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, here, 
Uh, those who are asking over the Bicol region, we are now experiencing the effects of the uh, southwest monsoon. So that's why we are experiencing on and off rain. Metro Manila is still uh, outside of the uh, monsoon effects. Most likely by tomorrow, once the system is over the uh, Babuyan Group of Islands or uh, along the Balintang Channel, the southwest monsoon, this one, okay, this is the southwest monsoon, will eventually move towards the northwest and it will affect also western sections of Luzon, including Metro Manila. So watch out for uh, on enough rainfall and don't forget to bring your rain gear, umbrellas and avoid flooded areas when the southwest monsoon arrives. Now uh, it's uh, uh, currently affecting uh, western uh, Mindoro, occidental Mindoro and northern uh, Palawan, including uh, Coron and uh, Boswanga and if we use this other zoom in satellite animation from windy.com you can clearly see here it's extending across Iloilo, Kimaras and uh, uh, Bacolod but there are some uh, patches of sunshine in between this rainstorm or rain showers generated by the southwest monsoon and also here with the Bicol region, we might be seeing some uh, a little bit of sunshine in between these clouds. Maybe later this afternoon or tomorrow. But still, every three to six hours, we expect on enough rainfall across the Bicol region. Particularly the western sections. That includes uh, Pasacao, Balatan, western sections of Albay, and also here across Masbate. So this is now the uh, uh, rain bands of the storm bringing uh, heavy rainfall and uh, increasing winds of more than uh, 30 kph or 50, 60, something like that over northern Luzon, then it will deteriorate overnight as the system moves into the Valintang Channel. And uh, here's the uh, track from Typhoon 2000. Uh, almost all of the Asian agencies are forecasting it that the system will pass very close to uh, northern Cagayan, but uh, the possible line of landfall is over Kamigin Island in the Babuyan Group. This is not the Kamigin Island over Mindanao, this is the other uh, Kamigin Island. And also, it might uh, make landfall over Kalayan Island of the Babuyan Group. So that's the path that will be between 2 a.m. to 8 a.m., then 2 p.m. it will be moving away from the uh, Babuyan Group. So expect damaging winds of more than uh, 130 kph within the path of uh, the storm from northern Cagayan up to uh, Babuyan Group. While uh, Batanes Group will be experiencing winds of uh, gusting up to 100 to 130 kph and also here across Ilocos Norte including uh, Lawag. Winds of more than 100 kph up to 130 will be expected and also Kalinga, Apayao. The rest of uh, Cagayan. Okay, so uh, please take all necessary precautions. Uh, prepare as the storm or the super typhoon is expected to pass very close to your provinces later tonight to tomorrow morning. And then uh, the areas of northern Luzon or the uh, various areas of northern Luzon will experience uh, gust of uh, 75 up to 100 kph so the 100 kph gustiness is maybe here in Ilocos uh, Sur and other parts of Isabela so please take all those uh, precautions and uh, based on the forecast this uh, super typhoon will exit the Philippine air responsibility as you can see here the uh, line this is the uh, broken line of the uh, PAR by Thursday morning so by Thursday morning it will move out of the Philippine area responsibility accelerating towards southern China so here's the, all of the Asian agencies nothing to discuss there uh, same effects global models we are sticking now on the 48 forecast we stick now on the uh, 24 to 48 uh, hour forecast since this is uh, at high probability of more than 80%. So that will be the scenario for the next uh, two days. And the landfall is over southern China in three days. And then it will rapidly uh, dissipate across the uh, along the mountains of southern China. 
use the oceanic heat content and it's still warm so the storm might maintain its super typhoon strength upon causing uh, uh, Balintang Channel and Babuyan Island group but uh, maybe some uh, topographic effects okay will weaken the system and it might be uh, just below super typhoon threshold within the next 24 to 48 hours and here's the uh, rainfall forecast accumulation for the next uh, three days the everyday uh, rainfall for uh, our country now as the uh, forecast for tomorrow as the storm passes by so this is now the effects of the southwest monsoon so this is now the southwest monsoon right here so it's affecting uh, Western Visayas, Mimoropa, and Western Luzon, including Metro Manila and portions of the Bicol region. So that will be the rainfall for the next three days until Thursday or Friday. So uh, expect that. And uh, that's it. That's our update for this uh, Tuesday, July 25th. And uh, I hope everybody is uh, prepared for the arrival of this uh, powerful typhoon, especially over Cagayan. Uh, Babuyan Island Group and Batanes uh, Island Group. So uh, also the whole of uh, northern and central Luzon must be prepared due to the possible uh, heavy rainfall that will be generated from the rain bonds of the storm and could trigger some landslides and uh, flash floods across your respective provinces. So uh, we'll see you again in the next uh, within the next 24 hours. This is Mike Padua saying. Uh, uh, stay safe always, be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser, and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.